Hey guys, so today we are exploring a bit of Skyline Drive. I am here with my brother, his wife, and a friend of ours. So we entered in through the front royal entrance at the top of the screen there, and then we wound our way to Big Meadows and the Harry F. Bird Visitor Center at the bottom. This was our first stop at the Dickey Ridge Center. Check out these rock formations here on this side. That's hey, cool. Hey, look at the rocks over here. There hey. you are. Yeah. And then on this side, you got this really sweet overlook. This. Is that the Shenandoah Valley? Uh, it might be. That's pretty sweet. Look at that drop off. Yeah, that's nice. On our way to Big Meadows in Skyline Drive. We're just stopping at some of these overlooks along the way. Um, so yeah, used to camp here a lot growing up. So a lot of good memories here. We're gonna be walking around Big Meadows, getting lunch over there. It's gonna be fun. It's probably what I'm looking forward to the most. So, all right. Wild turkeys. Careful, <laughs> Alright, we're at the Big Meadows Visitor Center now. We just got finished eating lunch. We're gonna go in, look around for a minute, and then go walk around the meadow. Just thought I'd show this little exhibit in the museum there about trout fishing. So yeah fish burn it and the next year they'll let it grow or something like that yeah all right here we are we're just hiking around big meadows i love it out here it's not very colorful right now but in the summertime there's like wild blueberries and all kinds of wild flowers and it's like so super colorful berries yeah there's little pathways all over here that you can just go through animal paths or just kind of walk. This, there's um, a foundation to a house somewhere over there uh, from one of the people that lived here before the park was established. It's crazy to think the house is not much bigger than like a 10 by 12 shed and those people would have like 10 kids in those back in like the early 1900s. It's very interesting to think about that, how, how things have changed since then. But this is a really cool place. You can talk about it if you know more. I'll talk about how Roosevelt kicked a bunch of people off their property to form Shenandoah National Park. Oh, there's that really cool. Ooh, what is that smell? <laughs> it smells like, oh. <laughs> it smells like just literal, just, just like, so an animal was over there and just crapped. <laughs> oh. Uh. It's about 40 degrees right now. It's like 60 at home. Uh. Actually, I'd say it's cooler than 40. The way the wind is kind of biting your... Um, My fingers are cold. Yeah. Which, I don't know, maybe it's like high 30s. Like it's only a bit above 30. Well, the forecast down at the base of the mountain said um, 42. Was that for the mountain? I thought that was for the mountain, but maybe it was for the base. Uh, I don't have good service, otherwise I would check. Oh, look, we're leaving. We're heading into the woods. Nice. Where Stefan is taking us to our gravesite. <laughs> I still have that smell stuck in my nose. Yeah, same. Yeah. It smells like... Okay, it almost smells as bad as um, snake musk. Snake musk? It smells about like that, but worse. When they feel threatened, they secrete this stuff that smells like that, but maybe a little worse. Snakes wouldn't be out in this cold, would they? We've been in the meadow for like a total of 15 minutes, 
and we've already seen four ticks. One on me, one on my brother, and one on Ashley. Two on, Two on Ashley. They like um, so we're gonna like head back to some more traveled on trails instead of just kind of going on these little rabbit trails. And then we're gonna check for ticks later. Cause I have a feeling there's gonna be a bunch more on us before we get out of here. Look at you. These actually look healthy. They're so Remember some of the ticks we've seen before? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. It stared at me. <laughs> That's cool. They're very tame. They just don't even care that we're like, you know, 30 feet away. They were right in front of us. They would just walked across the path and just went over here. Alright, so we're heading out of the meadow now. Back to our car. This was nice. The sun finally came out. It was perfectly clear here, but it quickly got really smoky. Apparently there is a wildfire nearby. Oh, look at that view. There's also some sort of fire or something going on because it just the smoke a bunch of smoke rolled in a little while ago. It was and it just smells clearer. this whole area just smells like smoke now. I don't know where the fire is though. Wanna go to the overlook and see. We can oh, see the fire. Yeah. So here are some pictures that I took. I'm just gonna talk about the fire real quick. Um, so, as of Saturday, the 3rd of November, uh, the Quaker Run fire breached a contaminant line meant to hold it on Saturday and has been slowly spreading into Shenandoah National Park. Trails have been closed and power has been cut to central areas of Shenandoah, according to National Park Services. Uh, and then it says... Roughly 1,900 acres of public, private, and parkland have been consumed by the fire so far. And you can look that article up. That was the dailyprogress.com. You can see the smoke in this picture. It looks very foggy, but that's all smoke. 